Ding dong, ding dong, ding. Good morning. What day is it? You're right. Friday. Yes, what are you going to do? Are you? Good. Tomorrow, too? Oh, I hope it's a nice day and you can play outdoors and you get a good rest. Yes, and then maybe you'll be able to play outdoors again. Fine, you can have lots of fun. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever been to the dentist? Do you know who a dentist is? Who? Right. He's the man who fixes your teeth. Mm -hmm. He does. He has a chair that's something like the barber's chair. When you crawl into it, climb up, crawl in, what happens? He makes it get higher and higher and higher and higher. That's right. You're right. Sometimes it does hurt a little. But when you have to have something fixed, it doesn't make any difference, does it? No. So if you've never been to the dentist yet, when the time comes for you to go, you know who the dentist is and what he does. And then you'll know what to expect. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I thought of something that I wanted to do today. Something I haven't done for, oh, quite a while. I want to blow bubbles. I want to blow bubbles. And here's the table. Look at this. Yes, yeah, tub with water, a jar with soap. Put some soap in. You like to blow bubbles, too. Do you? You're going to blow bubbles after a while? I know. I didn't tell you ahead of time we were going to blow bubbles today. Now I want to mix the soap all up. Yes, I use the bubble pipe just to mix it. Sure. Well, you do have to put enough soap in if you have a big tub like this. Why? Can't blow bubbles with just plain water. Can't do it. No. I wonder if I'll get big bubbles or little bubbles today. I don't know. You ready to watch? Really? Want me to blow hard or just a little? Blow slowly? All right. See, here's the pipe. Now let's see if I can get down slowly. blowing lots of little bubbles. Maybe if you listen, you'll hear me blow bubbles. There, some of them fell off. Oh, I blew some fast ones that time. Big one. Look at... Oh, it burst. Let's try it again. Oh, I know. Yes, it does, too, doesn't it? It takes a lot of breath to be able to blow bubbles. Sometimes you have to stop and take another breath. Sure. You have to be careful not to tilt the pipe back, because if you keep it right out straight, what happens? You get a mouthful of soapy water. Sure. Now let's see what happens.
Let's see. Shall we? Think we'll get a big one maybe this time? I don't know. Let's try it. Didn't get really very big ones, did we? No. No. Not a real big one that time. Maybe some other time we'll get a big one. Now, when you finish blowing bubbles, what happens? Yes. You always dry the bubble pipe. Why? So that it won't break. You dry it. Very carefully, inside and outside. That's the important thing. Sure. Oh, that was fun. Sometimes to blow big bubbles and sometimes little bubbles. And sometimes they make noise. And sometimes they're very, very, very quiet. Yes. Did you hear them? You heard the noisy ones, but you didn't hear the quiet ones. No. But look who's right here. Well, all of them right here in the crib together. So many dolls. Goodness me. Are you comfortable in there? Are you? Well, I have a book with some poems. Oh, some of my favorite poems. And I want you to hear them. Do you remember when you sent a picture, a picture of a turtle, a big turtle? Oh, and you made one out of clay, too. Do you remember that? And I said we had a poem about a turtle, and that someday I would find it. Remember that? Oh, this is a wonderful poem. It was written by Rachel Lindsay. And it is such fun. Maybe you know it. If you know it, maybe you can say it with me. And it's called The Little Turtle. This is about a little turtle. <laughs> there once was a little turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in a puddle, and he climbed on the rock. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow, and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Isn't that fun? Oh, I like that. Did you think that that mosquito was going to catch you? Did you really? No, when you know, Rachel Lindsay wrote another one. And this one is about the moon. The moon. Yes. Oh, and it has such an interesting title. The moon, the north wind's cookie. The moon, the north wind's cookie. Isn't that a funny one? You know what it means? Well, you remember we talked about crescents and a new moon? It was a tiny crescent. Do you remember that? Well, and then you got a full moon. All right, well, now you watch. You listen. The moon's the north wind's cookie. He bites it day by day until there's but a rim of scraps that crumble all away. The south wind is a baker. He kneads clouds in his den and bakes a crisp new moon that greedy north wind eats again. That's an interesting one, too, isn't it? Very interesting one. We have one more. Oh, this one is lots and lots and lots of fun. Guess what the name of this one is? Oh, it's about something that you see all the time. Mm -hmm. It's called My Shadow. Did you ever see your own shadow? What does it look like? Sometimes is it short and fat? Sometimes is it tall and thin? Oh, this is about my shadow. Listen. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me. And what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from the heels up to my head. And I see him jump before me 
when I jump into my bed. The funniest thing about him is the way he likes to grow. Not at all like proper children, which is always very slow. For he sometimes shoots up taller, like an India rubber ball. And he sometimes gets so little that there's none of him at all. He hasn't got a notion of how children ought to play and can only make a fool of me in every sort of way. He stays so close beside me, he's a coward you can see. I think I'd think shame to stick to Nursie as that shadow sticks to me. One morning very early before the sun was up, I rose and found the shining dew on every buttercup. But my lazy little shadow, like an errant sleepyhead, had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed. Oh, shadows are lots of fun, aren't they? Yes, they are. Just lots and lots and lots of fun. Sure. You can play with your shadow. You can wave at your shadow. You can do all kinds of things with your shadow. Where have you ever seen yours? On the sidewalk? On the wall? Have you? On the garage door? Did you like that? Did you like that story about a shadow? Did you? You liked all three of those poems? Oh, I think you know some of them. We'll have to say them again, won't we? Again and again, and then we'll all learn them. Sure, it'd be fun to say those. We wouldn't need a book. No, we wouldn't need a book to read out of. Would you like that? Go ahead. Something else I want to show you. It's right here on the table. Right here. Look what we have. You know this, don't you? What is it? The big yellow box with the big blue letters on it. What does it say? Kicks Crispy Corn Puffs. That's right. This is a new box, too. Look at this. Just ready to put on the pantry shelf so that it's where there right on the shelf when you want it for breakfast or for lunch or for supper. Sure. Say, wouldn't it be fun to come down to breakfast some morning and find a bowl of kicks that looked like this? Smiling right up at you. Look at that. Blueberries. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. And that mouth is really smiling. Isn't it? Yeah. And we have another bowl of kicks, too, right here. This one doesn't have a face on it, but look, it has four pieces of banana sticking up in the sides and a half of a fresh peach right in the middle. Doesn't that look delicious? Mmm, makes my mouth water. And we have a third bowl of kicks right here. Look at this with sliced peaches all around the side of the dish, and a blueberry between each slice, and the center is all filled with kicks. Say, those would be very, very good for breakfast, wouldn't they? Yes, and you know why they taste so good? Why? Because they're crisp, they're crunchy, they're delicious. They stay crisp to the last spoonful, and they have that wonderful Corn flavor. That's right. So when you're ready for breakfast, you think about having a bowl of kicks, will you? They're good. Say, earlier this morning, we had lots of fun blowing bubbles, didn't we? And then, yes, we had lots of fun reading some poems and thinking about all those things, shadows and turtles. And the moon, and you know the moon has a very different shape, doesn't it, sometimes? Sometimes it's a crescent, sometimes it gets bigger and thicker, and then sometimes it gets to be a real full moon. Well, there's some other things, too, that are lots of fun. And something else that I want to do that is lots and lots of fun. I'm not going to tell you what it is. No, no. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes somebody else does it. Sometimes your daddy might want to do it. Yes, it's fun to do in your lap. Sometimes you want to do it on a table. And this time, I want to do it on the table. We've done lots of things on the table this morning, haven't we? Well, there isn't anything on this table. Not a thing. No tub, no pipes, 
No dishes. No books. Nothing. What do you think we're going to do? Well, you can't do anything with just your hands and an empty table. You need something. And we do need something, and we're going to have something. And look what we have. What is this? What? Does it look like a napkin? Looks like a placemat? Looks like a small tablecloth? But you know what it really is? It's a handkerchief. Just like the one your daddy has, or your granddaddy, or your uncle. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's a big, man-sized handkerchief. Did you ever play with just a handkerchief? Did you? Well, look. This is what we're going to do. You've seen things folded like that before. Why, of course you have. Makes a triangle. It really does. It makes a triangle. Do you know what I'm going to do with this triangle? Watch. Just with my hand, I haven't anything else. I'm going to put it, put my hand under it like that. See? And then I'm going over and get this corner and poke it up here. And pull it up like that. See? And then I'm going to take this corner and put it down under here. And poke it up, pull it up. Here we go. Just like that. That doesn't look like very much yet, does it? Put this corner under here. And now I'm going to pull it up a little more. And pull this one up a little more. And look what we have. What do we have? What do you think it is? A rabbit with floppy ears. Sure, his ears don't know which way to flop first. Sure. Oh, there's so many things you can do with a handkerchief. Let's start again. We'll leave it folded this time. Just like that. See? See, it's folded again, just the way it was before. I'm going to turn it this way for a minute. And I'm going to start rolling at this corner. And roll it, and roll it, and roll it. And I'm going to start at this corner, and roll it, and roll it, and keep on rolling. I'm going to roll both of them. Well, what do you think this is going to be? You don't know? You're not sure? What does it look like? What? Just two? Well, it does. It looks just like a rolled up handkerchief. You're right. I'm going to bend it over this way. And get that right there. And take this one and pull it underneath. I'm going to hold that part like that. And then I'm going to pull. Sometimes they pull easily and sometimes they don't. Just depends sometimes. Well, look what came out. Yes, look at this. Who's in here? In a cradle, little hammock. Two dolls, one. They're very close together. <laughs> yes, but there are two of them. Look, and you can swing. See, just like that. Playing just with a handkerchief and making things. And if you pull it right out again, what do you have? Just your handkerchief. That's right. Just a large sized handkerchief. Say, you know what I think would be lots of fun? When your daddy or granddaddy or mother or uncle or someone comes home tonight. I think it would be lots of fun for you to ask him or her to make out of a handkerchief a rabbit or a cradle with two dolls in it. Will you do that? Oh, what will you do if they say they don't know how to do it? Will you? You'll be able to help them? Show them how to do it? Will you really? Good. 
Oh, because I think they'll be surprised and pleased, too. Mm -hmm. It's lots and lots and lots of fun, so you try it. Maybe you'll think of something else to make. Not a rabbit, not dolls at a cradle. That would be fun. Yes. You know what I want to do now? Oh, this is what I want to do. I haven't played with it for a long, long time. And oh, do I like it. Mm -hmm. I certainly do. What do you do with your ball? Your big ball? You roll it? And sometimes you throw it into something? You know what I want to do with this one? Watch. Just like dropping it. Look, when you bounce it. Just let go. Here you have both hands, and you just let go. Watch. Isn't that fun? Where would you bounce a ball? Your ball won't bounce. Why? Oh, it's a big beach ball. Mm -hmm. And it has a place at one end that makes it so it won't bounce. Well, this is a rubber ball. You don't have to have a big ball to bounce it. You can have any size ball. Yes, you can have a little ball or you can have a big ball. But remember that if you miss it, a ball rolls away, doesn't it? And that's what you have to remember to hold on to. If it rolls away out into the street, you wouldn't run after it, would you? No. no. And today, remember, is Friday. So there's no ding-dong school tomorrow and no ding-dong school on Saturday. That's right. But... There will be again on Monday. And you're going to have a fine weekend, aren't you? Good for you. You just have a good one. You know what time it is? It is. Who's at home with you? Where are they? Do you remember? All right, because Miss Helen is all ready to play, and you remember where to go. All right, go get them. <laughs> Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you very much. You may go play now, and I hope you have a very happy weekend, because I want to talk with whoever is at home with you now. Say, we had lots of fun this morning playing with a large size man's handkerchief. You know the many, many things that you can do with a handkerchief? Well, we made a rabbit head. We made a cradle with two little dolls in it this morning, and I'm sure you'll think of many, many other things that can be made. And I've suggested really very quietly to the children, that whoever comes home tonight, that they ask that person to make out of a handkerchief a rabbit's head or a cradle. And if they can't do it, I think the children might be able to show them how. It's a little tricky at first, and we'll do it again one day next week, just in case they haven't gotten it, just in case they don't remember how to roll it. We'll try it again, but just think what fun it would be to ask someone to make one for you and not have them know how. Oh, maybe even if you know, you'll pretend that you don't. They would love that. And of course, playing with a handkerchief is the kind of thing you can do in the car, in an airplane, on a train, just anywhere, on a picnic, you know, when things get just a little bit restless. Say, also this morning, we had some poetry, some lovely poems that the children I know would like to learn as they go along. There are two of them were by Rachel Lindsay, The Turtle and the Moon's the North Wind's Cookie. And then we had a third one, The Shadow, My Shadow by Robert Louis Stevenson, and it was lots and lots of fun. We have something else, too, that, that's interesting and lots of fun, which you know about, because you know today is our day with General Mills makes kicks, the ready-to-eat crispy corn puff cereal. And, of course, one of the reasons that, that we enjoy kicks so much is because it is not only ready-to-eat, but it's so crisp and so delicious, and it stays crisp as you know, clear through to the last spoonful. And this is the family size package, which means if you get a package like this, it'll last at least a couple of days. And of course, kicks are delicious, plain with sugar and milk, or combined with fruit. And I was just thinking, you know, sometimes it's lots of fun to surprise children 
with a bowl of kicks for breakfast. So that when they actually come down, sit down at the table, the fun, the surprise of seeing a bowl all arranged for them. Look at this one, which is a bowl of kicks with four bananas, pieces of banana around it, and a half of a fresh peach in the middle. Now the combination of a soft banana and a delicious fresh peach with crisp corn puffs is really a delightful combination. And that's just the kind of thing that you want to start your day off, isn't it? We have another one here, too, that, that I've seen children enjoy so many times, and that is a face. This one happens to be made out of blueberries. And the face is always a smile, because the mouth turns up. And they really just chuckle when they sit down and see this one. And then, of course, another combination is a good one, and that is this one where you put the fruit around the bowl, like the fresh peaches, with a little blueberry or any kind of berry between, just whatever you have in the house, and then put the kicks right in the center. See, then that's even a different way, isn't it? And I think that, that uh, oh, these nice warm mornings when you want something very refreshing for breakfast, what could be better than to sit down to a bowl of kicks, crispy corn puffs? They not only are crisp and delicious to taste, but they also have minerals, vitamins, and proteins just what we need to make it possible for us to have a good day. Get a box for the weekend. You'll be very glad you did, I'm sure. Well, as you know, here it is, the end of July, which means half of the summer is over, really. Doesn't seem possible, but the days just have a way of flying by. And if you have planned some things with your children that you want to do with them or for them or they with you, be a good time just about now to take inventory, wouldn't it? And see, what were the plans that really were carried out? And what plans did we find that we couldn't carry out? That it was impractical, or for one reason or another, we no longer can do it. Well, that's pretty important to sit down now and, and talk it over with children and see what things we are going to do during the month of August and the early part of September. And I think that, that children need to know, they need to enjoy the, the planning, and the evaluation of the plan. So many times we plan things, and then we forget later to evaluate them. And of course, if children are going to make plans for themselves, one of the important things for them to learn is to later evaluate the plan and see how well it worked. And if it didn't work, why? Well, it's time for me to say goodbye. Do have a happy weekend and enjoy your children. Well, I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.